Four minutes left. Okay. Four and a half minutes. Thank you, sir. All right. And that's the cube schedule. It's, uh, it's awfully nice. Uh, I really can't say too much more. I think the uh, next 45 minutes of this tape will actually give you any, a much better uh, indication of what cube looks like than I could do just by talking here on camera in color to you. Okay, we are now on channel T1. This is the free program TV listing channel, which lists all 30 channels and what's on them for the next two hours. This guy changes every two hours. In that green box at the top, you see to the top right the current time. On the bottom left, what time the particular event is about to start. And across from that, if it's in progress or not, which of course is only logical. So here are the T channels, the regular t uh, TV cable channels. C13710 on the only ones listed right now. It's, of course, 1230 at night. And underneath are the P channels. And in the background, we have some very nice, uh, soft FM music to listen to. Now, this guide runs 24 hours a day. And as I said, it's updated every two hours. So uh, enjoy the music, and you can see how this thing runs. Again, we are on channel T1. Okay, and here we have yet a different day. This is about 4.30 p.m. on a weekday, Monday, which happened to be the uh, 16th of January, 1978. So you can see what else is on at different times of the day. And a couple seconds coming up is a notice, uh, which fills the whole screen, which you'll check out. So again, this is channel T1. in Portsmouth. And here we have channel T3, which is the uh, preamp channel, which Cube will use to bring in a network affiliate from a different city other than Columbus when the Columbus affiliate wants to cut out the network movie and show their own stuff. Now this is what's on T3 when there's no affiliate being pulled in. WCMH TV, Columbus, Ohio. Channel T4, NBC, Columbus. This is WTTV Channel 4 the undisputed leader in television sports. WTVN TV set. Is WXIX-TV Metromedia 19. Proud of the area we serve. Public television. Serving Ohio and West Virginia, this is WOUB. TV 20 in Athens, Ohio, and WOUC 
TV44 in Cambridge, Ohio. Broadcast services of the Ohio University Telecommunications Center. In the old hometown, here's Channel T9. This is WUAB-TV, Channel 43, serving Lorraine and Cleveland. WBNS-TV, Columbus, Ohio. Channel T10, which is Columbus's own CBS affiliate, WBNS-TV. And while we're watching the old Vitafont machine doing its thing, we'll now switch to the C channels or the community channels. Uh, channel C1 is Columbus Alive, although that's not the only thing that's on C1. There's also uh, a show called Columbus Goes Bananas, which is a show mainly for young adults, which features up-and-coming talent and guest stars and celebrities in Columbus itself, as well as uh, Flippo's Magic Circus. Now, Flippo's the clown that Cube stole from the uh, CBS channel in Columbus, Channel 10, to host the Kitty Show. And it's not too badly done, really. So anyway, I'll give you a couple minutes here coming up of uh, Cube Channel C1, which is Columbus Alive which is actually just some people in the Cube headquarters talking about uh, what's going on around town. So, uh, enjoy. Okay, we're now going into Columbus Alive. There's no title card, no show intro, no nothing. It just starts. This is looking outside of uh, Cube's headquarters. Notice all the snow. And this is the Cube building, six million dollars worth of facilities. There's their main studio. Well, good evening and welcome to Columbus Alive on uh, this Monday the 16th at 6.02. And uh, the, the curious scene which you've seen out there is uh, something that's going to happen a little bit later. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to survive in the winter, I guess. Stay warm. Now watch carefully, you're going to see a bad problem with the camera coming up as they switch cameras. I'm not sure that they're roasting marshmallows or something. I think right now they're just trying to melt the snow good. Uh, Jack W is out there trying to uh, keep rain on everything, and so I think that, uh, Isn't that by, the end of the, uh, by the end of the two-hour show here on Columbus Alive, that uh, more than likely we're hopefully to learn about how to keep warm. Did you keep warm over the weekend? I did. I was in uh, Washington for the oh, did, weekend. Did you get your Australian Ridgeback? Rhodesian Ridgeback. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, unfortunately, oh, there was didn't? a little problem with the dog. Uh, this type of breed of dog develops what they call a dermoid sinus, which happens at birth. And it's, a, it's, it's like a little fibrous growth on the back of their neck, and it can be very hazardous to them, causes an operation. And most professional breeders will put the dog down immediately when it's born with it. They're not sure whether it has a dermoid sinus, and so they have to wait till it's about 10 weeks old and then do a um, biopsy on it. Did you, um, did you come back today? And I did. I flew back this morning, early this morning, and um, actually I got in just before uh, the airports really got uh, pretty bad. It was about 11.30, and it was snowing quite heavily there, and it was icy. Hmm. It was kind of icy on the runway. Well, we sent a crew out today uh, out to the airport to, uh, to try to get a, a shot of what it was like when it was really snowing out there about 4, 4.30. We don't, have, uh, we don't have that visual yet. It's still being worked on, and so uh, later on in the show, we hope to have it for you, just to give you an idea about, they said when they came back, that just how bad it was, uh, and I guess it, I, uh, I bet it got a lot by four o'clock, it really got to a great deal. Now, bear in mind, this is produced at the uh, Cube Studio in their own building with their own equipment, and these are Columbus people that are operating the cameras and everything else. And it's kind of surprising in many ways about what the National Weather Service has to say. If you can believe this, they told us just a while ago that only one inch of snow has fallen. You're ready for that. But most of the snow, you see, is the light, fluffy kind that looks like there's so much more. And if you expect more, then you should stick around. We're expecting four to six inches to fall overnight. And the temperature should stay high enough so that the salt won't freeze. There you go. But driving is going to be tricky. 
More snow is expected through Tuesday evening. And tomorrow, if I get to work, I will have gotten here because I'm going to ski to work. <laughs> you can no do some cross-country skiing. <laughs> well, today, of course, was uh, not only a day like this with uh, lots of snow, but it was also a day that uh, celebrated a very um, uh, special fellow in American history, and that was Martin Luther King. And um, I believe it was in August of 1963 that Dr. King addressed the uh, assembled 200,000 folks uh, on uh, in front of Lincoln Memorial and, and came across with a now famous...